Hey everyone, welcome back to the NASCAR Heat 2 career mode. Let's play, ladies and gentlemen. This is part number 12. And I'm going to do another race in the Camping World Truck Series. Next race is going to be at, let me show you. Um, it's going to be at Pocono Raceway uh, in Long Pond, Pennsylvania in the Tricky Triangle. Uh, five races left to go to the playoffs. So, yeah, there's that. Last race was at Eldora, and I won. Because the AI seems to be easy there for whatever reason. But, uh, no, I, I got the win. Got my second win of the season. So that's good. Need four more races, four more top 25s, and two more top 20 finishes if I'm going to get a payout of 11200 Uh Let me show you the career mode settings to remind you of what's going on with that. There you go. And the uh, standings. In the regular season standings, John Hunter Nemechek leads it by only 10 points over Christopher Bell. However, in the playoff standings, um, Christopher Bell still leads it with his three wins. However, now I, that I got two wins, I am now third in the points with Chase Briscoe that's got two wins. And Grant Infinger is the only driver in the playoffs that doesn't have a win. But uh, he's hanging in there. Maybe he'll hang in there for the rest of the time. I mean, what, got five more races to go until the playoff starts? Uh, and the rivals, um, only... Really, two drivers are really angry with me. That's Ross Chastain and Austin Wayne Self. They're getting up there. Um, don't really have a actual rival yet. So next race is going to be at Pocono Raceway, Long Pond, Pennsylvania at the Tricky Triangle. Let me get into qualifying and see where I'll start. Off turn number three, the complete qualifying here at Pocono Raceway. Let's see where I'm going to start. Yep, I knew it. 5680. Um, yeah, about a second off. Man. I even did some setup changes to improve my qualifying. Like I raced up the tire pressures and uh, loosened up the truck, and it still didn't give me nothing. Ah, uh, whatever. I guess I'll still go with default setup because I don't even know how I can get out first, uh, last place in qualifying. I mean, I'm doing what people are telling me to do, and yet it's still not doing it. Anyways, let's get on into the race. Three corners, the Tricky Triangle here at Pocono Raceway, Long Pond, Pennsylvania. The green flag is in the air. We are racing here at Pocono. And it's only three laps in stage number one. Very interesting. Give me some room. There you go. Uh, not gonna really help me out much. Hmm. Right, I'm still back here in last, I'm trying to pass uh, Matt Mills. Oh my god. Almost got up. Got up into 28. Alright, well, I guess I picked up a couple spots in the first lap. I got two laps to go in stage number one. Man, this is on 25% race lane, and yes, stage one is only three laps in the truck series. It's crazy. Seems a bit short to me. Three wide. Ah, oh, look at the run I got here. All right, cracked the top 25. See if I can at least pass a couple more trucks before the stage ends. Looks like I'll be able to with this pace. All right, final lap in stage number one already on lap three. I feel like the stages are sh too short. I mean, like I said, it is the truck series, but still. Ah, oh, turn. It's, uh, good turn here. Trying to get by my teammate, TJ Bell. Trying to stay in Chavis' draft. See if I can clear TJ Bell. Nope. 
All right, now I got by him. Gotta get around Chavis, maybe pick up 10 spots in this stage. Still a car out there. Looks like I'll be able to, Still yep, indeed. So I'm gonna finish up stage one in 20 seconds. I moved up 10 spots since the drop of the green flag. That's okay. Not bad amount of positions I picked up in a short period of time. And uh, let's see, wow, only 12 lives from me, yeah. This race is gonna be short. And Christopher Bell wins stage number one. I'm gonna stay out. And I'm gonna restart 22nd. So here we go, the beginning of stage number two. I guarantee this is gonna be another three laps. And the green flag's back in the air. Stage is gonna be two laps. Interesting. I'm trying to get to the bottom before we get in the one. Oh boy. Freezing. Oh my god, I'm stuck in the middle. It's probably not a good idea. Oh yeah, it was not a good idea. Oh, Joe Nemechek, don't even think about making it four wide. Golly, I'm gonna lose positions because we're stuck in the middle. That was not a good idea for me. All right, well, final lap in stage number two. And I just heard we got 10 laps to go in the race. Well, on the final lap of stage number two. So it's gonna be around six laps to go in the final stage. Oh my God, I got in the back of Quapple and shot me up in the uh, freezing. Trying to see if I can finish in the top 20. No, don't come down in front of me. Ah! Oh. Damn it, Quapple. Came down in front of me. I knew he was going to do that. I was just really hoping he wouldn't. But he did, anyways. Stay low, stay low. Hold your line. Uh, maybe I could pick up one more spot. Uh, maybe. Yeah, it's going to be 18th at the end of stage number two. All right, well, I only picked up four spots in that stage. This race is gonna go by quick. Yeah, we're gonna have like six laps to go on the restart. Well, let's see if I can race my way into the top 15 or maybe even a possible top 10 finish. So here we go, it's gonna be six laps to go here at Pocono. Green flag back in the air. And it's eight laps to go, my mistake. Momentum I gain up on the outside lane. I feel like the outside lane could work if I just have good cornering. Picked up half the positions since the drop of the green flag, the initial green flag. Oh crud! Made some contact going up the racetrack. We're fine. Ah. Tyler Young is not giving up that bottom lane for me. Alright, well I got into the top 15. Now trying to go for more spots up to 13th. Clear, clear. Look at the run I got down this straightaway. Yeah, I feel like I got a truck to end up in the top 10. Just gotta keep up this pace. Damn it! 
Uh, I knew that was going to happen, to be honest with you. I mean, I yeah, I just drove it in there. I tried to force the issue to get underneath uh, Ryan Truex. But again, I barely touched him. He about spun out. All right, six laps to go. Ah, oh, damn it. How do they get so much speed down the straightaway in the second half of this, the races? I don't understand. Wish I can. I just can't get any speed in the second half of these races. Always like that. Tires aren't really worn out that bad. Oh, I don't know if I'm going to get in the top 10 now. Just trying to get by Regan Smith as I finally do get back around him. Five laps to go here at Pocono. Regan Smith, no. Gain some ground on the guys ahead of me. Hopefully I can get there. Although I could have been up there sooner had I not made a couple of little mistakes. turn. I don't know, guys. I don't know if I'm going to get up there in the top 10. They look like they're pulling away from me. About 1.3 seconds ahead of me. 1.2 seconds, I'm sorry. And the guys behind me still gain a lot of ground on me down the straightaway, but I get them in the corners. The corners have been my best areas. I just got no straight line speed down these long straightaways, which kind of, it's, it's a shame. I mean, yeah, I'm not, I don't have a top tier truck. I only have like a three star truck, but still. Kind of frustrating. So I feel like I can get up into the top 10, but I can't. Yeah, I've, I've lost ground to the guys. I mean, I lost about two tenths that last lap. See, I gained about three to four tenths in the corner, but then I lose it immediately down the straightaway. I just can't get there. So, as at best, it's going to be a 12th place finish. I don't see any other improvement I can do. Did well through that corner. I actually gained on that lap. But it ain't gonna be enough. There's no way I'm gonna get up there. We only got two laps to go. Truck got tight there just a little bit. turn oh man all right final lap here Pocono
I feel like I can hold on to a 12th place finish, but like I said, that's going to be about it. Still not a bad amount of positions to gain. Gain like 20 spots since the start of the race. I mean, that's still not bad. Oh man, I made a couple mistakes that cost me a top 10 finish. I'm telling you that right now, one of them is about almost spinning out Ryan Truex. Ain't gonna get there. So it looks like I'm gonna come off turn number three. Right now. And gonna hold on to a 12th place finish here at Pocono. Now, oh, this is what it is. It's just, oh, the stages were too short. Wow, and only an 88 speed rating. That is terrible. Oh my god. Alright, race results here at Pocono Raceway. I, I end up with a 12th place finish. It's alright. And... Chase Briscoe gets the win. And it looks like Christopher Bell won both the stages. But however, Chase Briscoe takes the win. That means that's Chase Briscoe's third win in the season. Which he should be up there. Tied for the points lead. Playoff points lead. Playoff points. Um, with uh, Christopher Bell. In the regular season stand, oh well, I can't really scroll up to see. Uh, Chase Briscoe with the fast lap of the race with a 55-72. Uh, Christopher Bell with the most laps led, led 13 laps, so he probably lost the lead right after the final stage. And all right, I definitely was on the move, but <laughs> all right, man, I get the, I get both awards. That's awesome. I get both on the move and tough break awards. That's that's an accomplishment right there. Man, you must have done well if you got two of those. So four races now before the playoffs. And the next race is going to be at Michigan. Two-mile racetrack. Okay. I like Michigan. For the LTI printing 200. Alrighty. So let me look at the rivals. See if anything... Oh, yeah. Travis Quapel was up there now. Uh, I did get in the back of him at one point in this race. So I don't blame him. Uh, let's see, standings in the regular season stands. Look at that. Christopher Bell is now the new regular season points leader by 14 points over John Hunter Nemechek. In the playoff standings, Chase Briscoe, who got the win at Pocono, is now up there with Chase Br uh, Christopher Bell uh, tied for three wins. And I am still sitting third in the playoff standings. Grandin Vinger still holds off the last spot as of right now. So next race is going to be at Michigan National Speedway in Brooklyn, Michigan for the LTI Printing 200 for race uh, 13.3. So I will see you at Michigan National Speedway.